super. Yeah. Okay, show it. Really nice. It's a small keeper. Yeah. 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 It's count. Good morning guys, I'm here right now at Garibaldi and it's really raining right now, really hard but nothing can stop us, we're still gonna do our crabbing this morning see, nobody here right now but I can see there's already a lot of them um, they already put their crabs, um, crab ring in there because I can see the uh, let me just flip my camera here so they can see what's going on see guys, they already, nobody here but they already Put the crab ring in the water all the way up there. It's really raining hard, but we're here. We're gonna do our crabbing this morning. putting a bait chicken thigh and chicken leg we'll see what happened today that's our bait this chicken thigh is gonna come off Right now, it's a hardcore crabbing day today. Guys, I'm putting a, I'm putting a chicken bait again here in my crab ring. Uh, it's nasty today. It's raining, windy. But you can just tie it really good. This one. But you can just tie it really good. Put two. That was good. Yeah. That's why it's good when it's not frozen. Alright. All right. Okay. Ooh, it's nasty really. Oh my god. Yes, 
baby, look at this. Woohoo! Might be two keepers here. Two keepers. Yeah. Okay, show it. Really nice. It's a small keeper. Yeah. 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 It's count. See if it's male. Oh yeah, my god! <laughs> okay guys, we got it right now. Hardcore crabbing in Garibaldi, Oregon. Here. Give me a close up of this. Hi! Guys, yeah. we're using the Procure Crab and Shrimp Attractant. And if you can marinate your chicken for at least a week um, with this Puro Cure, it really helped attract the crabs so that's what we're gonna do right now so this one has already been marinated for a week yeah. so it's right here guys so now we're gonna Let's put bring there Brian over here hey Brian come here tell us about your marinade oh it's just uh just some turkey that I had in my freezer and you know I didn't want to throw it away so I'm gonna use it to uh, catch crab and marinated it for about a week with uh what is this the procure the procure yeah. sh shrimp and crab so marinated for a week so yes. hopefully, hopefully it helps and guys. he's gonna let us use some yeah. okay thank you all so right. much all right brian yes. thanks man yeah, no hi no really well, no, not an hour yeah, it better work brian yeah <laughs> <laughs> huh? all right yeah so we're gonna put it in here i think i'm gonna put it I know this is a nasty. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm here. What are you It's a nasty table anyway, but I'm gonna put it down here. Bisaya na grabbing sa Oregon karon tanawar ni mga hardcore git kayo in town. Nagbagyo na, si nagbagyo na, nagrabbing yapon. Nara ay kani si majority taka si Boni ang osa po taka taka negros ang osa. Bitanaw tayo ilang ilang tanawa ilang bait ha. 
Ang bit yun ni mo manok yun. Manok with a secret sauce ni Marjorie. Manok is chicken. Yes. Manok. Yeah, you got it. Got it, manok. Come on. Oh. <laughs> wow, you're teaching Salamat you very well. The, the down there. Ni. Buyag. E in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. He know how to say Pure Buyag. High school. Or junior high school. I get a wow. D in Spanish. You, you are a quick learner. I couldn't yeah. say anything in Spanish except for, um, you know, like Lumpia. Oh, Lumpia. Like when I heard Lumpia, I came running. <laughs> Secret sauce. Chicken for a bait, and also if you have um, cat food, it's also good for a uh, bait for crabbing because they like the oil from the cat food. Red, anami, zip tie. Dingo dingo, one good name, para malingaw. Oh yeah, secret sauce. Nah. All right. Maybe it's a meal. She gets smaller as I get closer. My mom made one video on our channel and it, that was like about... Look at, I want to see. Oh my god, it's so big. You don't have to measure it. Oh, that's already our fourth one. Yeah. You know the bait's good when they stop, when they don't stop eating it when they're caught. <laughs> oh, like, I'm wow, not done cool. yet. <laughs> good. Oh, you got some creepers? Look like it. I got one yeah. creeper. Excellent. Yeah, that's only our, our fourth one. Honey, I think I will take a video of you, honey bun. For my for my for my picture. For my for my channel, honey bunny. I need to take a picture of you. Honey bunny, let's go. Come on, honey bunny, please. Thank you. Last time it bit me. Okay. <laughs> Garibaldi, Oregon, and it's really raining right now, but we still got crab. This is our fifth um, gingenous crab for today. I don't think the crab care if it's raining. Yee-hee! Wow, look at him! He got a lot! It's just as effective as these things. Look at that! Oh, you have a keeper, honey! Another keeper! There. That's so big too. How many is that for you guys? Oh. I think we got seven now. That's a seven now. Oh, that's probably eight. Oh, no, really? Yes. Yes, boom boom. Crabs, crabs. Crab, crabs. Nada kan? <laughs> Is that <a> keeper? <laughs> Is that a keeper? Missy? It always looks so much more. Well, they get smaller when you get closer to them, too. That's what the deal is. Ooh. Oh, la la. This is our cuts for today, man. There's a lot of crabs here. Big one, too. Okay, so we're back with uh, Test TV. We just got back from our trip from Garibaldi. Um, and uh, I want to do a call out to our good buddy Brian and his uh, family uh, 
they uh, said they are subscribers, and that was kind of neat to see some subscribers uh, at Garibaldi uh, on the dock. Um, some of the things that worked out really well today, and I wanted to show what we've been using that just helped us through the day. Uh, it was a nasty, rainy day, gust of winds like 15, 20 miles an hour in the morning, and then all of a sudden it kind of cleared up for a time um, about uh, noon and we had a window of just really calm weather and blue sky. But, um, and then it started raining again. So we decided to take our crab home. We did about seven or eight crab, uh, Dungeness crab, then we had two or three Red Rock crab. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see back here, but we're boiling them, um, boiling up, up here pretty soon. I'm waiting for the water to boil, but I'm gonna go ahead. I cleaned them first, and then I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, cook them tonight. Uh, so let me share some things that uh, worked out well for us. Uh, these tongs work out really well uh, for grabbing crab and also I'm going to use these tongs for um, taking the crab in and out of the, the boiler. But um, I would highly recommend a set of tongs like these uh, even when you're crabbing on the dock and, and you, know, you want to pick up a crab, maybe you're not familiar with how to pick them up. Um, I thought I was today and I picked up one of a one of these bigger keeper crabs and um, It reached down and it it got me so uh, So these tongs are are probably pretty good for if you have kids and, and people that don't know how to Pick up crab the right way like like me, I guess so other things that work out really well these zip ties um, You can get these at Dollar Tree for you know a dollar and uh, but the cool thing about them is if let's pretend this table is a crab ring, you can just uh, take chicken legs and go through your your um, the, the wire on the uh, on the uh, crab ring, and then just zip tie your your chicken legs using the zip tie. Um, I was using this this mesh bag, and this is really good for like chicken breast or things that you can't zip tie. Um, but we we're actually getting more luck by by zip tying a uh, zip tying chicken legs right to the crab rings. Uh, that seems to work out much better. Uh, for some reason, uh, the crabs seem to uh, um, gravitate toward free food. I suppose that's easy to get to, and they and they linger longer in your in your um, uh, crab rings. Another really good thing that um, that uh, our subscriber Brian turned me on to is this Procure. And um, he actually, I, I bought some just to put on uh, the um, on the bait, which was primarily chicken today. Uh, but he said he marinades his for a week. And in the video, you'll see an interview with, with Brian. And he was just a, uh, the, you know, a random guy at the, uh, at Garibaldi that we met and he he recognized us so that was kind of cool having a subscriber and and uh, getting positive feedback it makes us want to do more more of these videos to help people out um, and uh, this is another brand called smelly jelly and this also works really well too um, now we caught plenty of crab without this stuff and we uh, but when Brian let me use his marinated version uh, we caught three or four extra keepers so that was pretty slick. So thanks, call out to Brian and his family. Um, so that was awesome. The um, another thing that you got to have when you're when you're pulling crab uh, rings up off the docks is a good set of gloves. And um, these are these. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what they're called. They're um, I forget the brand, but they're uh, they're plastic gloves or, or rubber rubber gloves. And you can get these at any sporting goods store. These particular ones have a built-in built-in gloves, um, uh, wool gloves to keep your hands warm. But I didn't need them, and, and these ones kind of get in the way. But uh, these will really save your hands when you're pulling on rope, right? So, highly recommend a good set of gloves. Moving over here to my crab, uh, my crab tra uh, trap. This is a. Um, forget what they call these. I'm just going to take this off really quick here. This is how I keep it shut. Um, but the way this is, is this, this opens up and then you have a, uh, uh, 
you you have a, a fishing rod that will hold the um, the crab trap, and so what you do is you you lay it down like this, and then you can put your your um, drumstick or chicken on here, and there's even a little mechanism that slides up and down, and it will hold your bait on. So you got to make sure you got to you you use this little loop and then it holds the bait on. But I also use a, a zip tie as well uh, that, to keep your bait on. And um, I was using a big uh, uh, spin cast. Uh, I was using a big fishing rod with a with, with spin cast reel. I actually prefer, this is just a sturgeon rod, a tiger sturgeon rod. Um, but on this is a Okuma CV30D. Now I'm not, Okuma is not paying me for an, an advertisement. But I'm just saying this type of reel I think works better for for these type of crab traps. Uh, when you cast out and then you pull up, um, the, especially one with the clicker, you can um, you, you really get a lot of torque with this, and it brings the uh, the crab trap in. For those who have never used one of these before. Um, when you when you pull on this, the trap closes. And you and this is a little bit larger one. There's a Danielson's one that's a little bit smaller that you can get at Fisherman's Marine or any uh, sporting goods store that sells crab crab um, uh, equipment. But uh, this one worked really well today, and uh, and I highly recommend using a uh, uh, the Okuma. Or one like it, something like it is the uh, this is this particular one is the Akuma bait caster. So spin cast or um, spinning reels work okay, but um, this really works well for getting a lot of torque and cranking it in. A little bit harder to cast, you know, but uh, versus a spinning reel. But um, I just got a lot more torque on this compared to my my spinning reel. Anyway, um, then lastly is the the rain gear these are hold this up these are bibs that um i think yeah these are the carhartt bibs and this is great for crabbing and you can put these over your if you're wearing jeans you can put these over your jeans they have an extra wide just down they have an extra wide uh legs so you can put your boots through here and you don't have to take your boots off and on when in the rain and the mud and stuff you can you can put these over your boots really slick um, also you know you can get these at sportsman's warehouse fisherman's marine um, you know any place that's selling crab gear will probably have this um, this, this, this type of rain gear uh, keeps you completely dry because when you're pulling those pots in even if it's not raining when you're pulling the pots in um, you're going to get wet and getting jeans wet uh, wet jeans is the worst because denim is the hardest to dry and so it so you're going to be wet all day long if you don't have a, um, a, a good set of rain gear and uh, um, you know and gloves and and uh, a hat and all that stuff right so it seems obvious I'm not stating the obvious but it's it's uh, amazing how many times I've forgotten this stuff <laughs> and then you come home soaking wet so, uh, so I would highly recommend, you know, uh, setting up your family with, uh, with good rain gear, um, especially in Oregon when you're crabbing in the winter. Uh, so stay tuned. If this is helpful for you, uh, please like and subscribe. We're going to cook up this crab and then we're going to show you some of the uh, finished product here. Thanks. Boiling, boiling. And I'm just going to start throwing these in. And the way I do this, I've actually already cleaned these and I, I crack them in half like this. Makes it really easy to clean and boil. And that way I leave the, uh, the crab shell at the, at the dock. I just toss it into the water. The seagulls love it. Um, I know some people love the uh, um, the crab butter and all the stuff that comes inside the uh, 
um, the crab shell. You can you can boil these whole if you want to, or you can uh, clean them like I did. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, this is just how I do it. All right. So you put these in, um, and then I'm going to cover this and. 15 minutes, it'll be ready. Um, some people go less, like, you know, some people are really, really picky, like 11 minutes, 12 minutes, or, you know, or 10 minutes, but for me, 15 minutes seems to be, do the trick um, with uh, with cooking crab. And Tess, if you wanna walk around here, I'll show the, uh, the burn. I don't know if there's enough light here, but um, I'm using a, um, a propane tank. And I put the propane tank in this, um, uh, what do you call that, milk crate, a milk crate. And um, then this is just a, a burner that I have here and then the, uh, the pot. Um, and again, you can get all this stuff at Sportsman's Warehouse or Fisherman's Marine. Um, and uh, I think Fish Fields in, in Tiger sells it too. There's lots of great places. Um, so uh, you get some good deals on it. Um, but this is uh, really simple to use. Um, you just turn it on and then just light it with your lighter. And I have one of those barbecue lighters that I use. Oh, boy, there you go. I just use a barbecue lighter and I just light it from here and it works really well. Regulator, that's the name of this thing, it's a regulator. And this red knob, you can turn the, you can turn it, you can turn the flame, if you can see the flame under there, you can turn the flame up and down. See that? Up and down. There you go. So you probably hear this a lot, but if this is helpful for you, uh, please like and subscribe. Okay. These are done now, and I'm just turning off the gas. And let's see, this was the uh, clothes. Here we go. There it goes. All right. And uh, it's been 15 minutes. And oh my gosh, I wish we could have smell a vision as well as television because this smells so good. And uh, let me grab my tongs and a plate. There you are. I'm not sure if you can see that, but these are steamed and really, really yummy. We're not going to eat all of these tonight. <laughs> I'm going to eat some of them tonight. Um, and uh, but this is the uh, the final product. down and then I'll clean it out.